very, very important. Very, very important. So, there are angels that are sent to minister for us. What do you do? Your angels have been there, just waiting. You're suffering in their presence. They look. They could have done something, but you didn't say anything. So, in their presence, you're crying. Ah! Hey, you say, how can that be in the presence? Look at Jesus. He calls and Peter comes out of the boat to walk on the water to go to Jesus. When Peter looked at the waves, the Bible says fear gripped him. He began to sink in the presence of Jesus. So the Bible, why didn't Jesus say, why didn't you look at him like this? Right in my presence? You're joking. <laughs> he could have done that. He could have just been looking at him. Sinking? I'll just bring you out? No. The Bible says, Jesus, immediately, quickly, that's what the Bible says, quickly got a hold of Peter and said, why did you doubt? Peter would have died in the presence of Jesus. So he got him quickly. So there's things that happen. Can a Hagin tell us a story? A beautiful story. He says that Jesus appeared to him one time. And, uh, and while, while Jesus was talking to him, a demon spirit came and stood between here and Jesus. And Jesus kept talking to him. But he was writing some of the things that Jesus was telling him. And the demon stood in there and was making a noise. Yakety yak, yakety yak, yakety yak, yakety yak. <laughs> and Jesus just kept on talking. And he said he was wondering, doesn't Jesus know that I can't hear him anymore? Isn't he going to do something about this demon? But Jesus kept talking and he was losing the information. Finally, he got aggravated with the situation and rebuked the devil and said, Get out in Jesus' name. The demon fell down and tucked his tail between his legs and ran off. He looked like a little monkey, he said. And that demon ran off. Then Jesus said, if you hadn't done something about it, I couldn't have done anything. So he, he, he said, huh? What did you say? Because he was a man who was careful about words. He thought, I heard you, Jesus. You didn't say, if I didn't do something, you couldn't have done anything. I, did you mean you wouldn't have done anything? Jesus said, I couldn't have done anything. You couldn't? He said, you can't say that. You couldn't? Jesus said, I said, if you hadn't done anything, I couldn't have done anything about the situation. He said, Lord, why? He said, you see, when I came out of the grave, and I got all authority from heaven, in heaven and in earth, he said, I gave the authority to the church. He said, the authority of our demons is with you. So if you hadn't done anything about that demon, I couldn't have done anything because I've given you the authority. Ooh. And Kenneth Hagin said, that changed his life. R. Roberts tells a story. He had been in the hospital. While he was there, Jesus appeared and talked to him. And there was another man standing by, huge, tall fellow. And he asked Jesus, he says, and who is that? Jesus said, that's your angel. And after Jesus had talked to him, Jesus left. The angel was waiting. The angel said, dispatch me. He said, I'm waiting. Why? There's something he had asked the Lord for concerning the city of faith, the day and city of faith. And the angel was waiting to go get it done. He said, dispatch me. And he said, in the name of Jesus, I dispatch you. <laughs> Glory to God. 
You don't have to wait to see the angel first. The Bible already said they are there. Are you still there? Many years ago, two angels came to me. And there's a big one, tall, huge fellow. He said, come, I want to show you how.